to write a song that's something that you've experienced, and I think it's another thing entirely to write it as propaganda. And to, you know, to tell you a story of my own or to sing a song to you in some way that tells you I'm right and that you should be with me because that's how right I am. And I'm, I've just never been very good at that. I'm not very good at selling myself. Um, I'm, and, and moreover, I, I think that, I, I genuinely believe that, that each of us have a story and that if there's something that we have to say or to tell somebody of the story or the experience that we've had, it's, it's, you know, it's worth me listening to you to tell your story. And it's worth, I think, for you to listen to me and let me tell you my story, but without the ulterior motive, right? That I tell that story and that I have the presumption of what you're going to believe when you walk away with me from it. And that's, that's been a little bit of my struggle with um, faith-based music is, it's one thing to write about this spiritual experience you've had, and it's another thing entirely to tell someone about what they should believe. Um, and it's just, it's not Yay. really what I'm into. Woo! And so that's kind of how I got started in the whole Christian music racket, is I just didn't, I didn't really know any better, and I was just kind of, like, just naively and wonderfully just writing life as I was seeing it and living it and experiencing it. And then as I kind of followed down that path a little bit more and, um, and started to have like real life things like what do I do with this hot sexy chick right next to me that I want to spend the rest of my life with that creates a problem for other people who believe other things yeah <laughs> but all that's to say is that I think there's a valuable story that we have when I would hate in all of the things that I've, I've experienced with my faith experience like things like grace and things like compassion and being kind to one another and this naive, well, not naive thing, but this embarrassing quality that I have that I don't talk about a lot, but my Pollyanna wish that the world could be like a much nicer place and for like five minutes we were all yeah. just nice at the Woo! same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which included things like not passing laws, demanding where you, you know, like predest Sorry. predestining where you pee, or worse, telling you that you're not protected in your job or your place of employment. Didn't mean to get political about it, but I just, I think that there are much better things to spend our time on, like listening, like being compassionate by trying to be the person that you want other people to treat you. So no matter who you believe or how you believe or get your path there, I hope that, that you will join me in like trying to find that five minutes where we all get to be good all at the same time. Um, and uh, so this song for me is, it's a brand new and it's called Don't Believe Me, which seems ironic. Um, because there's so many things that I do, like as, as much as I try and I hope and I want to be the ideal version of me that I see, I'm not always that. And the people who know me intimately and get to see that will hear me you know, talk big about the person that I want to be or like, or I even say things like, I don't need your help or I'm cool, man, like I'm good, I'm, I can go it on my own, that, that we need that kind of community. So it's that kind of not believing in me, not believing me in my bullshit. Day. Like, believe in me that I'm actually capable of rising to the occasion, but don't believe in the other crap that you see. So, it's kind of a weird, ironic, backwards, inverted love song. And true to my form, a little bit depressing. Let's see if I do this here. It's called Don't Believe Me.